ever sat behind a really tall person at the mm. cinema, like they've got a big hat or something, the back of someone's head is not interesting. It's very annoying. Yeah, you can't see much, right? Well, the person in our next story has had that restricted view experience all the time. Luckily, she came up with a handy solution. Unluckily, not everyone sees things her way. Caitlin explains. Put yourself in Rachel's shoes or socks and get ready to stretch. A lot of things are built around the average person, which is around 5'3", five, 5'5". Five, five. Not Rachel. My height is 146 centimetres, which is just on 4 foot 10. Far from the top shelf. The supermarket does not really appreciate you climbing up the shelves. And trying to find somebody these days to actually help you find something is not easy. Still, she won't let size slow her down. Most small people just get on with things. But that changed in April this year when a solution of hers was taken right from under her. <laughs> this one. She was seeing a dance show at the St James Theatre in Wellington, holding her tickets in one hand and a bag with the cushion in the other. Just allows that extra bit of height to be able to see over the people in front. But not if you're at the St James. And they say, oh, excuse me, you can't take that in. So why not? So, you know, most places I've always been able to take a cushion. That, no, 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 it's not allowed. It was deemed a hazard in the case of an emergency. If the cushion was left, the seat wouldn't go up to allow people to have free flow out for a fire escape. And I was trying to point out that it's only a light cushion, so it would quite easily fold up, but I didn't want to accept that. Were you able to test whether the cushion would keep the seat down? No, did nothing. Just took it and put it in the manager's office. Rachel had paid more than $150 for a ticket. For that, she got a close-up experience, just not at the stage. I had a lady pretty much in front of me, so I was, you know, a head pretty much in front, so I was having to go like this and, you know, um, look above or to the sides. She ended up standing at the back. It was almost like, well, you can't and that's it. No sort of help to say, well, OK, could we find you a different seat or something like that. Has there been a widespread cushion ban? Not at the movies, where you can use booster seats at points and event cinemas or just bring your own. In big theatres like the Civic and the Kiriti Kanawa Theatre, both have 80 booster seats. It's a good thing, too, Rachel lives in Rotorua, where the Sir Howard Morrison Centre has had a makeover. New seats, and soon, new cushions. When we looked at the booster seats, obviously children were some of the ones that came to mind. Um, we have a lot of family-friendly shows here, so we wanted to make sure that they could see. But we do acknowledge that people are built differently, so if they do need it, if they're a bit shorter, um, that's there for them to use. The Mayor's confident the centre's staff can get people out safely. Our team are well trained in terms of evacuation policies. I appreciate that for some they may see the rules differently, but for here in Rotorua, we just want to make sure people can come here, can have a good time and can safely get in and out while enjoying the show. And if you're curious, because I am, these seats can handle this cushion just fine. Rachel's cushion comes in at 500 grams. Now, while you won't find the word cushion in New Zealand's fire safety regulations, when it comes to an evacuation, Fire and Emergency says the buck stops with the building owner. While it may seem innocuous, a simple item such as a pillow or cushion may become a hazard to others trying to evacuate in the narrow access ways, such as the rows of seating in a theatre. Therefore, if the owner believes that a cushion may become a hazard or would hinder the evacuation of persons from the building in the event of a fire, then they're within their rights and obligations to restrict or prohibit their use. We asked a senior fire evacuation consultant for his assessment. Liz Mallers says while every building is different, there are ways to manage risks that don't involve simply eliminating them. A high heel shoe is dangerous in the event of an, an emergency evacuation of a building. Very likely somebody would kick them off and they become an obstacle in the means of escape. So there's all kinds of things to consider. When Rachel's cushion was taken away, Les believes the venue should have had a plan so she could still enjoy the show. How are we going to cater for the various kinds of people? And I think that we need to be looking at that more seriously. 
and giving more consideration to people that require assistance. Whether that's figured out in the booking process or on site. We can have an area where booster seats can be used. We can have raised seating for certain circumstances. This can all be built in and provide the service for all people, all the public, irrespective of what their needs might be. We asked Wellington NZ, the council-controlled organisation running the St James, whether it would take another look. A spokesperson told us, as it stands, cushions or booster seats aren't allowed at any of its venues, and this is based on its operational procedures. All seats are required to fully flip back in case of emergency, and whilst we recognise that some cushions may still allow the seats to flip back, others may not, and therefore potentially impede evacuation. But having raised the issue, Wellington NZ's now going to review those procedures. Including the possible provision of booster seats to ensure that we remain an accessible venue and deliver great event experiences. We thank Ms Everest for bringing her concerns to our attention and sincerely apologise that we did not provide the experience we aim to provide to all of our customers on this occasion. And that's no small change short people specifically just want to get on with life and you, you find ways around it and you just don't want people to interfere with something that's that works for you. Is it just me or is all of this quite sensible? The venue provides a booster seat, the safety concerns are sorted and Rachel is happy. We love these solutions. Yeah.